Today's topic will be about another widget, the gauge. Uh, the gauge has been around in MicroStrategy for a while now, uh, and it's uh, it can be it can be a little bit difficult to customize uh, if you're a new user, but uh, once you get a hang of it, it should be straightforward. So let's go into our topic, into our environment, and create a report that we will use. We're going to create a very simple report, okay? So let's, we're not going to complicate it, but you can get fancy later on. So it's a new report from blank. And I'm going to add an attribute. Let's do something simple. So let's see. Do you want to do by geography? Why not? Let's see, geography. Let us do a region. Let's not add all the regions, let's make it limited. Let's just add US regions, for instance. Okay. So we're filtering it. Let's uh, make sure it's not bringing a lot of data. <coughs> so let's add a time restriction on it and just select a year. These are old years in the tutorial, but they work. Okay. We still don't have a metric. Let's add a metric. And let's just go with the basic. Let's just go Y revenue. Okay. So if you're, you know, using a retail store and you're trying to look at these, this makes sense probably. So there's a metric there's uh, an attribute. It's very simple at this point. Let's run it, make sure there's data. Okay, simple data. And now we want to create um, our graphic. So let's go and create a graph view. Now in the graph view, uh, you have all these options, but if we look for advance, there's the gauge, okay? And let's see what happened. So what happened here, in defa by default, it took each one of your regions and gave it its own pie. That might be what you want to do. Um, however, let's try to do something a little bit more straightforward. Let's go back to our design view. And let's put region. Let's move it up to the page by and rerun. All right, so I like this better. What it's doing is allowing us to page by by the region of our choice and showing us the, in this case, the revenue metric uh, per region. So as you change this, it'll change down here. So this is your basic gauge, okay? So if you've never created one, by doing what I just showed you, you have created your first gauge, okay? Now, let's see how this looks in the web and uh, talk about it from there, okay? my gauge okay all right so I saved it I closed it I'm gonna go in the web and take a look at it and see how it looks Let's run it this is exactly what you saw you know in your uh, in your uh, desktop um, but if you notice here it's very simplistic right the formatting is limited you have the different you know options that every graph has you have a few more options do you want the base let's, let's just do something like let's see let's make it thin without an extended base let's give it thin borders and let's just keep the angles as is and see what happens okay so we just modified it a little. You could probably change the color. So anyway, at this point, you have limited access and again, limited things you can do with it. But let's just go back to our desktop and see what else we could have done to make this look a little bit better. Okay. And I'm gonna go to our graph uh, options. So I'm gonna convert it to a graph first 
and then I'm going to go to the graph options. Now I don't want to go over the rest of these. You can see our uh, graph uh, demo and it'll talk about all the different options. But just this, the gauge options, is what I care for. I'm going to just go dive in. So you have an old and new style, different styles. If you see this area, it'll show you what changes you're making. So if you're not sure what the difference is, you just click here. Say, okay, this is the old, and this is the new. You might prefer the, old, prefer the old or the new, depending on your need. Um, these are start and stop angles. If you notice here, on the old one, it's a little bit more obvious, depending on your need or how fancy you want to make yours, okay? So let's just say, let's just stop it here, okay? In the new, it's the same thing, but there's a complete circle, big deal. Uh, you want the range thickness, you can modify it from here. Let's just keep it at, again, depending on what you're using. For some reason with the old, you can see the changes a little bit better. So you might want to do that, use the old, adjust it, and then go with the new, okay? Uh, draw data labels. Do you want the data labels or not? Depending on, you know, if you don't want it to get too cluttered, the marker size, do you want to increase it? What is it that you want? Do you want a star, diamond? This would be uh, the different markers you have. If you had multiple data points, this would be useful depending on what, how many you don't want to get it too cluttered, but the diamonds will appear on your circle for multiple data points. In this case, we probably would have only one. Uh, the style, again, we saw how we changed it. And then we have the border. If you want it to be a donut, metallic, clipped, etc. Again, this is dependent on the start angle. Probably could balance it out a little bit. Okay. In the display, you can show the legend, but you also can create bands. This is very useful. So if you knew your values, I wasn't sure what our values are, but let's just go with a hunch of, say, 10,000, band 2 from 10 thousand to say uh, 100 thousand we can always come back just if I'm out of uh, range right here and what this did when I created these it created these two added these two so I'm gonna say the first one just call it range red the other one is a good range green okay The needle base can be adjusted for the color. Uh, I don't really care what the needle base is. Usually it's black, but let's just do something noticeable. Just do this. It's right here in the middle. The border of the gauge. And let's go with blue. Okay, so I'm just trying to mix it up so you can see what's happening. You can also come to the series, which was revenue in our case. And you can add a tooltip, fill, etc. Okay, let's just fill it as this won't impact our needle, but let's go apply. Okay, so here's our revenue, here's our green range, and here's the rest of our. Uh, so our, we were way off with the range, so let me adjust that quickly. Sorry. Go back to the options. Maybe add another zero to our gauge. Sorry, display. So here we go. Let's add a zero, zero, and a zero. So one even more. All right, so let's go and add a zero here and a zero there. So I was uh, quite off here. So here we had you know, the red zone and this. So obviously for this region, Northwest, 
it was in the green, this might mean a good thing, etc. South, southeast, west. Again, if you notice that the range, the total range has changed as well, you can adjust that as well to give it a maximum and a minimum. So uh, you can give it ranges. Again, go to the different graph options and see what else you could do. So you can also control yeah, the number of series and graphs, etc. The axis right here, category axis, and you can show a maximum and minimum value. So if you want to always show the zero, you can add it here. Okay. So let's save this and close it. Go back here. Let's run it again and see what happens. All right, here it is. Looks good, it's still interactive, etc. Okay. Obviously you can uh, see that you know the different colors we chose played a role in customizing our graph or our gauge. But I want to show you one more thing. At this point still, we're just still using the basics. Can we go and make it a little bit more attractive? So let's see what we can do. If we go to Tools, go to our Custom Visualizations, and if you're not sure how to add a Custom Visualization, you will have to go to Preferences and go to the Default Preferences and Enable Custom Visualizations. Let's do it quickly. Here, Project Defaults. You might have to have the right privileges first and here's your custom enable it if it's not apply it and then go back okay and obviously try to be smart about using these black buttons and don't make the mistake i just made so now with that enabled i'm going to go right here click enable and i'm going to choose the gauge move it over here okay there it is a much more interactive gauge okay and if you don't get the colors or you don't want the colors you want the default mic strategy there's an option to go back and forth between inherent and not inherent some of you might see this first uh, so they might have to say well do I want this the default or do I want to bring in go to properties do I want to bring in my colors that I chose or do I want to use the MicroStrategy default ones depends on what you want do you want to show the title do you want to show the data label maybe maybe not okay here we go this is it it's very basic if you want to get rid of some of these lines you just go back to the graph options remove borders etc you start getting a little bit fancier with your options. This is very simple. Most people will use these with uh, dashboards as well. Uh, we didn't show that, but if you did convert this into a dashboard, so let's save it first. Yeah, just keep it the same name. I'm going to save over it. Return. I'm just going to go and see if I convert this into a document. see what happens there you go there's my document and if I go to the flash mode look it didn't it's not supported and if I wanted to diagnose that problem I'm just going to go into design mode and review. I'm just going to right click here and review the properties and formatting of the widget and enable it here first and then go run it. And there's our so it just requires us to it required us to go to design mode and enable the uh, the flash widget for
for the gauge. It was not enabled. Depends on your settings. It might might not come out of the box enabled. So it's very simple to adjust once you get that error that I just got earlier. And here's our page by called grouping in the dashboard. And uh, obviously you can go to the graph options and change the size, the text, etc. and start playing around with the different options. You can even remove or add the data labels, etc. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time with MicroStrategy Rooster.